Here's how you can assign labels to rows and columns in order to use them in formulas. The first thing you need to do is go into the Tools menu and choose Options. Um, and then, uh, within the Calculation tab, you have to click off Accept Labels and Formulas. And then you click OK. Now let's give names uh, to each of the columns. We'll call this Year uh, 2003. Um, and then we'll click and drag to give uh, additional years up to 2008. And now let's give salespeople. So let's say um, Josh, Paul, Peter, um, Sally, and Molly. Um, and now that we have these uh, columns and these rows, now we're going to actually uh, make these uh, names uh, make these uh, names into actual labels of the columns. So the way that we do this is we choose edit, oops, I mean insert, so insert name, and instead of defining a name, which would be a named range, instead we're going to click label dot dot dot, and then we select uh, the r label range that we want, which is going, the label range is going to be um, the range which is going to be labels for the columns or labels for the rows. So let's start with year 2003 all the way till 2008. So that's range B1 through G1. And these are going to be column labels. And we click Add. Um, and now we want to click ro choose Row Labels. We'll change, it, uh, change the button to Row Labels. And we're going to select, um, we'll click in here to be able to select it. And then we highlight all the way up to Molly. And we click Add. So now we have a row range and we have a label range. And then we say OK. Now let's say we had uh, various amounts in each of these positions. So here's various values in these positions. Um, I'm just making them up um, as I go, around, go along. So now there's various values in each of these um, boxes. And now in each of these cells. Now let's say I would want to uh, find the uh, intersection, let's say, of year 2000 and Peter. That's um, Year 2007 and Peter, so that would be F4. So rather than saying F4, I could say equals, and now I'm going to click in cell F4, and you see it says instead equals year 2007 Peter. I could have typed that in by hand as well. And now uh, you see it says 45. Um, if I want to click and drag on this to extend the formula, so here's 45, I click down, and now it says 7, which is a value under 45. I see the formula is year 2000 Sally. It automatically knows. Um, uh, by looking up in the label uh, on the side what the next value is. And similarly, I could drag to the side and it'll find the next appropriate value. Um, now, in your typical formulas, if you wanted to treat this um, as a one-dimensional array or a two-dimensional array, so that's fairly simple. All that we would need to do is call this over here, cell A2, we could call this, for example, sub 1, with a space or without a space, and clicking and dragging down, will give us sub 1, sub 2, sub 3, um, etc. And then um, I could say something like this. I, I could click on this uh, cell over here and say year 2003 sub 3. Now it wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to actually have to call it year 2003. We could call it database and it would be database sub 3, etc. And, and you could use these labels then in your formulas um, almost as if you're using them as arrays. And, si and similarly if you would uh, name your columns appropriately, you could treat it as if it was a two-dimensional array. Um, so uh, I would assume that this actually adds some comp computing time to your uh, Excel spreadsheets. If you have a really complicated spreadsheet, it's going to uh, possibly slow it down, but still this is a very nice feature.